you guys, Clint Arden, Clint Arden and of course, the House of Biceps. All right, guys, I'm here at the House of Biceps answering your questions. Now, this question came in a couple of months ago. I was really hesitant to answer because there's no great way to answer the question. Jamie asked, Clint, are painkillers killing my gains in the gym? Now, right off the bat, this individual is from the UK, uh, and I will say that through Europe, when someone uh, asks or mentions the word painkiller, it's completely different than what we think about in the United States. When someone from Europe says a painkiller, they're talking about uh, ibuprofen, Tylenol, um, Voltaren, things of that nature. They're not talking about the same stuff they would in the USA. If you're from Europe, and you're wondering what I'm talking about. In the USA, when someone says painkiller, uh, they're talking about something towards the direction of morphine, um, hydrocodone, uh, codeine, things that really kill pain. Uh, we consider ibuprofen, neurofin, buprofen, uh, Voltaren, uh, Tylenol, Panadol, Paracetamol, things of that nature, to be an anti-inflammatory. Not a painkiller, an anti-inflammatory. So. You're asking me about an anti-inflammatory before training. Is it killing your gains? I've actually read several studies that talk about taking uh, anti-inflammatories, things of that nature before training and how it slows your progress, how you need that inflammation. And to a degree, if you look at, you know, the fact that I'm going to the gym and I'm taking 200 milligrams of ibuprofen uh, before going to the gym, First of all, 200 milligrams of ibuprofen is not a dose that is used to release uh, or reduce inflammation. Uh, that is a dose for fever. If you have a high temperature, that is a dose that will help reduce your fever. In general, to have any effect on inflammation, you need a minimum of 400 milligrams every six hours to reduce inflammation. So 200 milligrams is probably not doing it. The chances are that if 200 milligrams fixes whatever you need to be fixed in order for you to go to the gym, you didn't really need 200 milligrams of ibuprofen in the first place. You probably could have just gotten rid of whatever pain you had by spending five minutes of attention to your own body pre-workout. Now working with the notion that taking an anti-inflammatory uh, before training will not allow your muscles to inflame, also known as swell or pump, uh, that is kind of a bad thing. That is a negative thing. You want that muscle tendon, uh, the, you don't want the tendon, but you want the areas in your body to be able to flush nutrients in and pull the nutrients out again as well. Inflammation is not always a bad thing. It's actually rarely a bad thing. You do want inflammation. It brings all the good stuff in, takes all the bad stuff out, repeats until it's healed. So you don't want that process to stop. But I do think that the idea that taking some ibuprofen or an anti-inflammatory or a painkiller, however you want to refer to it, before training is killing all of your gains is greatly overstated. Now, I'm sure it does, but to what degree? If I am so beat up that some foam rolling, some voodoo flossing, some massage, and some hot cream won't work out whatever kind of pain that I have, I probably don't need to be in the gym anyway. And if I'm at the situation where I absolutely have to take something for inflammation and pain relief so I can go train, that means I probably have a contest coming up or something serious coming up, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that I get to go train while you sit on the couch and complain that you're too sore to go train. Let that sink in for a minute. Who's gonna make better progress? The guy who says, no, I'm not gonna take 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, I'm gonna sit at home on the couch and rest a day? Or the guy who takes 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, goes to the gym, works out the soreness and kicks much tail. So both sides of the actual pain killer medication side of the question. If you're taking an American pain killer, a serious pain killer, you're probably not going to have the motivation to go to the gym and kick much tail anyway. If you, you don't need to be driving if you're taking an actual pain killer and go to the gym. 
you're going to be standing around the parking lot singing whoop de doo And if you're in a situation where you have to take four to 800 milligrams of ibuprofen before every single training session, day upon day, week upon week, month upon month, then you probably need to reevaluate your training methods. Maybe the reason you're doing what you're doing. You need to change something else besides the medicine. But all in all, taking a little bit of ibuprofen now and then, as long as you're healthy, it's not going to kill your gains. See you next time, guys.